What's up guys? Rin Zero here. We got the last eye beam to do. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and grab a popsicle stick. I'm going to whittle away at it and I'm going to show you guys how I did it. And uh, actually I got three of them already done. So we got one more to do before we actually begin with the water tower and hot glue it to it. So I didn't want to do it without you guys. So let's get this done. Last eye beam. I'll go into detail on how I do it. Those that are still confused or don't understand how I did it and want to make it realistic as far as the eye beams. So let's get to work. Okay, we're going to start off by basically giving us a base. There we go. And there's one. Now, what it is is that you want to get it as thin as possible because you don't want it to be sticking out when you look at it from the side. You want it to be flush. Because these are very small, what do you call it, uh, metal pieces that they're using. And you just continue the process. Just See, once you get that divot, then you can get the rest of it out. It'll go sideways on you or whatever, but there we go. Now we got our piece that we want. Okay, you got your pallet here. Put your glue, drop of glue. Cut them at an angle. Now you're probably thinking, did you measure all of this? No, what I did was place it where I want it. Then go a little bit up. And there's your first piece. So what I do is get my little pallet, drop a glue at the end, Plug it in, make sure that it's not overlapping, because you don't want to see that piece. And I get a piece of the wood as a brush. Oops, make sure it's focused. Put it in there like that. Push it in. Make sure your your ends are clean. There's the first support beam. As you can see, it's pretty flush.
probably wondering why do I use uh, popsicle sticks and uh, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, basically just popsicle sticks and, and the foam that I have. There are easier ways of doing this. You can go to your local hobby shop and spend a lot of money on split wood or get a jigsaw and cut everything to your lengths and stuff and make, you know, really sheared, you know, kind of a setup. Um, but basically the economy is bad. A lot of us are unemployed. Um, I'm doing this because I want to show you guys that there are cheaper um, alternatives to, you know, building a battlefield. You guys want a great looking battlefield. You guys want the buildings. You guys want, you know, all these things. This is all from a local grocery store. You know, dig through your trash, do what you do, you know, and go buy $2 worth of popsicle sticks that you find at your local grocery stores. You got, you know, these sticks here. You know, I'm showing you guys a different way of doing things. But you can still have a great looking very detailed battlefield with limited funds and that's why I'm doing this you know because even my friends are telling me it's like dude why don't you just go down and get you know um, you know pre-made stuff you know you can go down and you can just drive down to the hobby shop there and, and get things you know but no because I want to do this for you guys and show you guys that there are better ways of doing things as far as money wise so there you go your results are these, and this is all from just a little bit of, you know, a little bit of elbow grease and, you know, getting in there and, and cutting things, and you get yourself a nice looking battlefield. Like I said, ten bucks. This is it right here. You know, bought some onions. Hey, there was a bag there. Took care of that. This is all popsicle sticks from the same batch. All of this from the same batch. Two bucks. And there you go, beautiful terrain.